Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this is one of the nukes I made up with those five mated queens I brought back to the yard here. And they built up pretty strong. So I've decided I need to take a little bit of strength away from them. You can see there they've got honey, honey in the top of the combs there pretty good population so I'm going to take the feeder out of them now I don't think they need it you can see this comb sort of attached to the feeder but I don't mind that it helps them climb in and out but I'll just break that off there now and that'll make a nice little starter strip for them I'll put that comb in the back there. Now I want to take away a frame from these guys. So I'll try and select some capped brood. So this one here's just got open brood mainly. It's a tiny bit of capped brood there on that side there, but I won't take that away because there's still a bit of work to do there for them. This one here is the type of thing I'm looking for, capped brood. Once all this emerges, this nuke will feel like it's crowded, so I'll need to take this away from them. I'll just set that aside for now and keep looking. This one here is pretty similar, capped brood. Could take that one too, but there's not much difference. Put that one back in there. I haven't seen the queen yet. Hopefully she's on this comb here. It's sort of mixed brood, capped and open brood. And there's the queen there. She's looking fit and well. Italian type queen that I grafted earlier this season. So that's all I need to see. I can take that comb away now knowing that the queen's still in there. Now there's a few bees clinging to the feeder so just tip the sticks out of it there and and tap those bees back in. Now I'm just going to put foundation at the front here. Just give them the feeling that they've got a bit more space to work into so they don't feel crowded. I'll put that one away now. Now this nuke here is what I've been calling the laying worker. It was laying worker a couple of weeks ago. I've been adding brood to it and I attempted to add a queen too but that failed. But last time I was in here they had a queen cell. So let's see what they're up to now. It's just a bit of stored honey there on this front frame. This is a frame of brood I added recently. And if you look closely here, I nearly missed her. It's a tiny little virgin queen running around. Just there, not much bigger than a worker, if any. But that's what we wanted to see. And now I'm gonna Check the, check the queen cell and check that she is the one that came out of that cell. So there's the queen cell there and it's, it's got a nice round hole cut on the end of it which means she emerged properly. So 
So I'm going to take a frame out of here and add that frame of brood from the strong one. Just assessing which one to take away. I'll move these two brood frames forward. And I'm adding that capped brood in the middle there with the bees attached to it. I've added these with nurse bees attached to it before and hasn't caused any problems. So that's the update on the laying work and you, cheers.